Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm going to be decluttering all of my concealers. As you guys can see, I've collected quite a bit. Nobody needs this much makeup. I keep forgetting to make this disclaimer in my makeup declutter series, but nobody needs this much makeup. I am a makeup collector. I do product reviews and short form and long form videos. And some of these I get sent to me. I like to buy and test a lot of makeup for review purposes, so obviously your collection probably doesn't look like mine. I am going to be decluttering the concealers that I have not gotten any use out of, so let's just get into this. And if you're new here, don't forget you can watch my declutter series because I have been decluttering the entire month of December. Okay, so we're going to start with Yensa. This is the Yensa Skin on Skin BC Concealer. You know what, that just made me realize that I'm missing a concealer. Hold on. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, as I've been filming this declutter series, when I'm re-watching, I notice that I'm missing a few products here and there from my collection, and that's because I have things in so many different places. As I was saying, I have the Yensa BC Concealer, which is the first concealer that I tried from Yensa. This is actually pretty good. I would say it's pretty medium to full coverage. And I have the shade Tan Neutral. This is such a good concealer. I use it basically every day. I really like the applicator. Super easy to use. Not messy. And then Yensa actually sent me their new Super Serum Silk Concealer, which I really like as well. This is in a different shade. I have the shade Medium 1. So these are different. I would say this one has more coverage and this one is more hydrating. I actually really like both of these. Yensa is a Asian brand and you can actually find them on Nordstrom's website or you can actually find them on their website but I feel like they've been getting a lot of traction here on YouTube so it's been really great to see but again I think they have some really really great products I will be keeping both of these because I do like both of these formulas and honestly this one is almost finished so I'm excited to finish a product but I'll be keeping both of these so then we have the Huda Beauty Glowish Concealer. This is supposed to be a very lightweight concealer. It's actually supposed to be a under eye illuminating product more than a concealer. So this is in the shade Tan and this is very very similar to my Rare Beauty Brightener. Really really similar. I would say I think I prefer the Rare Beauty one but they're honestly very similar. I think Glowish is slightly more illuminating in my opinion. But I do use these on days when I'm running errands or in like my super no makeup makeup days where I kind of am just looking for some hydration and maybe a little bit of, you know, something under there. But these are super duper lightweight. If you're looking for coverage, don't get these. But these are really good if you are going to work in school and you're just trying to like slightly perfect your look. I have two of these because... My sister actually tried this and wasn't a fan, so she gave me hers. Um, so these are both in the shade medium and then this is in the shade tan. And that's also a really fun tip I'd recommend if you, a friend, or someone in your life likes makeup. And if you guys are the same shade, you can totally swap things you don't like or give things that you're maybe not interested in using. So that's also a method of decluttering we swap things all the time so that's great i won't have to repurchase but i will be keeping all three of these okay so this is the dior backstage concealer in the shade 3w this is newer to my collection and i've actually really been liking this i still have to test it out a few more times um because i'm not sure if i like this as an everyday concealer or if i need to be saving this for special events but it is really easy to use and it's pretty lightweight but i would say it's more so medium coverage so i will be keeping this skin concealer stick in the shade natural so i have used this quite a bit i will say when it comes to this product i specifically like using this as a more so a spot concealer than anything else um it is very natural looking but i think it does a really good job at covering it's not really my favorite product but it's also not a bad product i just think it's a little bit less interesting in my collection so this is going to be a potential declutter speaking of bobby brown i have another concealer from bobby brown um this is the skin full cover concealer I think I have tried this maybe once or twice, but I'm not entirely sure my thoughts about it. I think if I don't use this within the next month, I'm going to declutter it. 
but this is in the shade Warm Natural. I mean, Bobbi Brown does make some really good product. This is something that I might declutter, but it's gonna go in my maybe pile. From Danessa Myricks, this is the Vision Cream Cover. This is a two-in-one. It's actually a foundation and a concealer, and this is so good. This is the shade N6. I definitely think I'm gonna pick up the shade N5 when this is all said and done. But I'm not going to lie to you, if you own this, you can use this as a concealer or a foundation because it is super duper, duper duper full coverage. Like, I cannot express that enough. And I like the fact that it's a pump. It's also really small. Like, I have pretty small hands and it's basically the size of my hands. So it's really convenient, especially if you are going to double this as a foundation and a concealer. And I love it. And it's in plastic. It's not going to break. It's an amazing product. From Benefit, we have the Boing Cakeless Concealer, and this is the shade 5, so I have given this so many chances in my collection. I've skipped over this in so many declutters. I always think I'm going to end up using it, and I don't. It's not a bad concealer, but it's not my favorite, so I will be decluttering. So we have the Hourglass Vanish Concealer, and obviously this is not my shade, but I really, really like using this as a bronzer and it works really well. I also have a LA Girl white pigment that I mix in with this sometimes and I can use it as a concealer when I do that but it's a really really full coverage super nice looking concealer I would highly recommend if you are into a lot of coverage. From KVD we have the Good Apple Concealer. I love this so much. I would say it's medium to full coverage and a little goes a long way. It is such a good shade. I have medium one for one. It's a really good brightening shade on me. I just, I have nothing but good things to say. I will say though, the packaging is very messy and I have wiped down every single one of these products before I film with it. Just because, I mean, if you use your makeup, you know how messy it gets. But like I said, this is messy and it's kind of annoying, but it doesn't take away from how much I love this concealer. From Rum Beauty, we have the Sweetener Concealer, which is probably the most different in terms of the packaging. Um, this is a pop concealer and I have the shade 8G. As you can see, I have made a dent in this. I'm actually really happily surprised with this one. I really do like using this to carve my brows and I really like it to spot conceal especially because it is a thicker kind of cream consistency. So it really stays put. This is so good. So I have the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. This is in the shade Warm Beige, so I like the way this goes on initially. Definitely has coverage. I, It's not my favorite because for some reason, no matter what I do, this always creases under the eyes, which I don't like. But I really like using this to spot conceal. This is something that I might pass along because it's good, but it just doesn't look good under my eyes and I just... I just can't deal with it, so I probably will pass this along, and it kind of separated, but I promise it's because it just needs to be shaken off because it has been sitting in my collection. From e.l.f. we have the Hydrating Camo Concealer. As you can see, I have some windowing in the product, which is pretty good. I have definitely gotten my use of this over the years. It is not my favorite now that I have tried so many concealer. It definitely has run its course in my collection. I think I need to throw this one out. Then we have from Huda Beauty, we have the Full Filter Concealer. I love this so much. This came into my life this year and has really stolen the show. It is a really, really good full coverage concealer, very lightweight. It's just a perfect consistency. It's not too thick, it's not too thin, and it does a really good job at covering. I have the shade 5.3 Toasted Almond. That is basically almost my perfect shade and I've never had such a close concealer match. It's the perfect shade because it's, you know, while it's still warm, it's still kind of neutral warm, which I feel like is kind of how my skin is. And it's just a really good shade match, like I can't describe it. So if you haven't tried it yet, definitely make sure to give it a go. Okay, this is from Laura Mercier. This is a Secret Camouflage Brighten and Correct Duo. So I got this in PR a while ago and I do really like it. I will say I think the formula is pretty good. Not for under the eyes. It is too drying for that, but it is really good for spot concealing. I am going to keep, but it's definitely not my favorite. I'm just going to try to use it up as much as I can. These are newer to my collection. It is the Smashbox Halo Glow Concealers. Is that what it's called? Smashbox Halo Healthy Glow Perfecting Pen. 
So obviously I have three different shades. I have a whole video on this if you want to see this in use. But I really like this. Um, I wouldn't say it's my favorite. I do like the concept of it, but it's definitely not my favorite. I hope that makes sense. But it is very easy to use. Super lightweight feeling. I would say it's medium coverage and I have different shades for different things. I use this for bronzing. I use this under the eyes. This is actually a little bit too deep for me, but you can see that video if you want to know my full in-depth thoughts. Um, I like the packaging. It's like a pen, so you can like scroll this and then it comes out the top. It's a very cool concept, but like I said, it's just not my most used, most loved concealer, but it's good. From NYX, we have the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum, and I have it in the shade... So I use this in the shade Tan. I really, really like this. You guys, I think this is actually one of my favorite drugstore concealers. I have seen a couple of creators double this as a foundation. I want to say Julia Adams does that, and I tried to do that as well, and it looks really good as a foundation as well. So multi-use, and I love the fact that it's a serum because if you have dry under eyes, this will definitely help you, especially now that we're in the winter month. Last but not least, we have the Huda Beauty. This is the Overachiever Concealer. The name has rubbed off. I have this one in the shade... Wow, the name is rubbed off too. That's crazy. Um, I want to say this is in the shade like Graham Cracker or something like that. But I will say, I do like this. I think it's a pretty good concealer, but this shade is just not right for me. It's a little bit too warm and too deep. But the overall finish i love it because it is super full coverage i'm gonna keep this it's a good full coverage concealer i will say that so these are the concealers that i will be decluttering i will be passing this along especially this one because this one i barely touched but i will be passing these along to friends and family and then throwing away the ones that are old but if you're new here and you like what you saw don't forget to comment and subscribe and like this video for more videos from me. I also post on TikTok and Instagram Reels, so follow me there for short form content and you can follow me on my lifestyle page for vlogs. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!